Generic greetings and welcome back to a very fast spinning camera. Yeah, that's a little bit too fast for my liking, hence why I use the middle mouse button. Anyway, in the previous episode, I added an additional line. As you can see, this entire big block of machines here is making the combat backpacks. Originally, this set of machines, or these set of machines, were making alternate combat backpacks and the camo vests, but we thought because of the orders we're getting in, it's best to produce them both at the same time. I could have had this side produce one and the other side do the other. That would have been totally acceptable, but we're just getting more output on here. As you can see from the top right, we've only got 97 grand left. That's 97,068 generic units of currency because I have been doing a bit more research while not recording because I wanted to start making the uh, the 9 mil this episode and then progress on up there. Uh, in terms of orders, we do have a couple of orders. This one I'm just going to uh, hand in. That's 50 grand straight away. And then the combat boots. There's another seven grand as well, so a decent amount there. In fact, I've just got an achievement for day 50. Other things we can get, there's all sorts here. Obviously, we are going for missions that we can do for people that we've already worked with or have a status of neutral slash trustworthy. So, I mean, we could work for the other people, and that will then increase their trustworthiness and such. But um, for the time being, I think we're going to stick with the ones that we have uh, worked with. There's some combat trousers orders, which we will probably accept. And then we've got um, a combat glove orders there, which we've got 700 combat. Uh, Camo gloves? I call them combat gloves. I, I, I tend to use the word camo and combat interchangeably, although I know I shouldn't. Uh, that is the boots. No, we don't want that one. Where is the line for the gloves? That's trousers. It'll be this one for the gloves. Combat gloves, and we're going to power that off because, quite frankly, when we've got 800 in stock, I believe, I don't think we need that. Let's have a quick look. We'll have a scroll down there. And yes, 740 camo gloves. We really don't need any more than that. Okay. So active orders, we will hand that in and hand over the uh, trousers as well. That's taken us to just under 150,000, so no problems there. Now, obviously, when we make the big line, that might take quite a bit to do, but uh, for the time being, we'll uh, just have to assume that what we've got is enough. Anyway, I'm not going to... Actually, I will accept that one there, untrustworthy, but we can hand it in straight away, so that should hopefully increase the, uh, yeah, the, the uh, reputation as well. So hopefully, now... If we go to research, yes, we do have 9 mil. We're going to go for uh, 45 uh, point ACP. Um, and we'll see. Oh, no, I can't start research because that one's. Oh, because you need 100 and, 125 uh, research points. I'm actually going to knock our research points down to 5% here because I just don't want to spend the amount of money that's going there. So. We now need a line, so we will have a look in our cookbook, and you can see that we now have. Uh, primed and topped and bullets. Uh, to make the bullets, which is what we want to make um, in total, you can see there's, whoa, there's a lot of things to do here and I have no idea how we're gonna do that. That seems to be a fairly long line. and I don't know why that says hardened. We'll have to check on that later on. So, if we go to build menu, and things like forging, nothing in there, forming, ah yes, loads of formers. And in start line, yes, we have metal roll dispenser, and chemical dispenser. Yeah, there's loads of that. Okay, that's fine. Just going to go over to market, and you can see, yeah, we also have now nitric, nitric acid, cellulose, and brass rolls. That's fine. Uh, also, fabric sheet has just gone down to really cheap, so I'm going to buy out um, probably... 10,000 maybe? No, probably 8,000 will be acceptable just to make sure that we continue that going uh, on these machines. Okay, so in terms of research, it does say well, it, technically we should have all the things we need because we went down these lines so we should have everything, although is there anything, we else, anything else we need around here? Mm, doesn't say. I don't think we need a recycler. Okay, so we'll just assume that we can make that, and that's what we'll try to do. Just after we go into orders and check, see if there's anything we can make. Ah, yeah, there we go, straight away. Um, there's already people asking for for ammunition, so I'm going to have to start producing that. But that, that, it's actually important that we... Hang on, where's it gone? There it is. It's important that we see what the output is. It is 9mm bullets, not like boxed or anything like that. It's just, that's what it's called, so that's fine. That's what we need to know. Um, there is a decent order there. Hang on, does that combat gloves? Is that combat gloves still working? I'm sure that just went up to 7 
80. Hang on, combat gloves. Power off. It doesn't do a thing. Right. Well, that's a th that's. Yeah, that doesn't work at all. Um, no, that that's deleted the entire line. Oh dear, line control. Right. Um, add. Combat gloves. Nice that it scrolled over that. And we will go into that one. That's trousers. Combat gloves. Add. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, twelve, thirteen. Power off. Go to station there. So that station is there. It just doesn't work. I bet these stations don't work either. I know why as well. The, um,. There was a patch, or there's actually been a couple of patches since the last video, and they said that um, although the saves should work, if you count any, any errors, then restart. Well, we're not going to do that halfway through the series, so we'll just have to crack on. We can still control it from the line control, I believe. Yes, we can. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I might go ahead in the future um, and redo the uh, computers, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, so we need to make, according to the orders, 9mm bullets. So if we go over to cookbook and 9mm bullets, this is what we're going to follow. And as always, or well, yeah, as always I guess, we're going to work from the back end over. So this will be um, here. This will be our exit. And then we'll build down here. Okay, let's try it. So, we will go to start and end. It's not even in there. It is in Boxing. Boxing. There we go. So rotate that round. And we also need an end. End of line. Alright. So there's the end of line. Gonna make sure that we put this in. Um, well, the problem is that if we... If we put it too far one way, it's going to clip all these beams every time we build. So let's put it biased to the left-hand side here, and then we can always expand this side and over to here. That makes sense, I think. Okay, so, end of line, yes. Boxing, yes. Boxer, now that's a new one. Bullet boxer. There it is there. Okay, fairly decent piece of kit. We will be using belts on this one. Probably only that singular one there, that little one metre one. Although I think because of the size of it, I think a two metres in order. Just because it gives us a bit more clearance. So there's our bullet boxer. Uh, the bullet topper. Now I have no idea on the. Where will it be? Cutting. Forming. I have no idea what the distribution of each of these are, so I don't know how much we'll make off each one. So we'll have to do some load balancing further down the line. But, well, I could check as I would progress on. Now, let's just get the line built first. We'll start outputting them and then we'll go from there. Not the most efficient way, but at least we'll get stuff made. So, end of line, bullet boxer, not end of line, bullet boxer, bullet topper. Wow, these are really big machines. Yeah, they are. Um, I reckon we're going to have a lot of problems powering these. Currently on not entirely a huge amount of excess power. And does this go forward one? It does. I like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool that um, I have like, different inserts and cutouts and stuff. <laughs> um, we might as well, while I'm here with the belts, place that there. I'm going to get rid of that one, I think. Actually, no, I'll keep it. I'll just keep moving it down the line. So, bullet boxer. Bullet topper. Uh, bullet priming. Again, huge machine. And... Could you be shifted it? Because that wouldn't have fit in otherwise. Ooh, it's very close to the centre bit, yeah. And it also turns around... Oh, it goes into a corner like that. That's interesting. Didn't know about that. 
Is that? Yes, that. That always looks like it's sloping up to me, but if I turn it that way, does that look like it's sloping up? It sort of does. But I don't think it does. Because those are the slopes there. Hmm. Anyway. So we'll just do that. So that is our bullet priming. So, we then have to do one of these on one way. Well, we'll probably put the longest on... Ah, we've got this thing here. We'll put the shortest down here and the longest on the other side. Okay, so the shortest will be... Is that strange that it... What does it take? Ah, gun cotton and 9mm formed. Okay, so that's fine. So we need gun cotton, which is drying. Which will be in... No, in drying, apparently. Fairly big machine there. I will probably move this over, actually. Like that. Is that right? I think it is. Like so. Now, obviously, if there's a machine wrong, then I'll alter that later on. There's our drying. We need the chemical mixer. I thought it was going to be in merging. Yeah, and it is. The size of these machines. Huge. And that's lined up. Chemical mixer, yes. Output is nitrocellulose. This one is gun cotton. I guess later on we'll have more options for things. What are we doing for money? 88 grand. I'll check our orders, see if there's anything we can uh, hand over. Um. There's a decent combat vest one. There we go. There's them two handed in. Combat boots is okay. Production. There's a glove and trouser one, which is just a cheap, cheeky one to hand in. There was a couple of comments about people saying, um, what you can do is you accept the missions and then just wait until if, if they go down. Then you just do a cheeky like glove mission or whatever, or order rather, not mission. Just to get the reputation up. And that's actually not a bad idea. I don't think it's a bad idea at all. So back to the bullets here. So a chemical mixer, yes. And then we need uh, two chemical dispensers, which is nitric acid and cellulose. So dispensers, so chemicals, and oh, oh. Oh dear, we can't spawn it. Ah! Right. Have a problem. Why can't we build it in there? Oh, because I don't have access to this, do I? I need to buy this bit. Ooh, that's expensive. <laughs> 120 grand. Right. That's going to change things. We'll dispense it and work back over. And we'll build all the way around here. Right, right, that well needs most. So chemical dispenser, two of. Oh, hang on. How come that can go in there but these can't? That's strange. Well, we have a problem there. Because how am I going to get belts into that? I'm not. I'm just not. Okay, other solution is not ideal. <laughs> right. But, I mean, it'll work. It'll work. It's just not going to look very good. But, we could do that. So, belt two meter to there. Belt one meter to there. That comes down to there. That goes over to there. That goes to there. Darn, it's still way too short. Um, what we'll have to do then? Pull that off and that off. Come down one. It's going to be very cramped. Again, serviceability at, um, well... I was going to say questionable, more like uncomfortable levels, but that should allow us to have a one metre belt in there. 
Yeah, but we need to combine them, which is the problem. So, actually, that'll go there. That'll go there. <laughs> yeah. That's fairly tight, isn't it? Um, okay. So, it's going to come out there and go in either side, because that's going to take both, yeah. Crafting speed for output speed 2. At least it's giving us these here. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to check that later on. So. Um. I guess. Something like this will have to do. I'm hoping we don't get a lot of cluster and confusion, but. We'll see. That technically should work. Should be some gaps for safety, but, you know, we can't do it because of the uh, size of that other one. Um, in terms of research, I'm going to continue research there. Oh, loads of research points, actually. I'm going to pull that right down to, say, 2%, because I just don't need it um, as high as that. Uh, do orders as well. So, active orders none. There's a decent order for 22 grand. We'll accept that one. Um, there's... 52 grand one which we will be able to complete shortly there's another one which is 9 grand but it's going to take loads of resources that we don't want to really hand over yet nice camo vest one for 9 grand but we're looking for, oh no we're not looking for one there so we'll do that then just to keep the money flowing in you see there's gloves and trousers which yeah Okay, so back to the cookbook. Let's check this out again. So two chemical dispensers, yes. One outputting cellulose S, the other one outputting nitric acid S. We'll come along into the mixer, which is going to be producing nitrocellulose S, then gun cotton S, and that goes into here. And then the other line, we've got all of the brass sheeting, bullet uh, ex uh, punches, extractors, heating, cooling, cooling, heating and cooling, <laughs> uh, shakers and stuff like that. So we'll be doing that one. Right, okay, so that's fine, that's fine. Um, and we've got all of this space to do it in. So that's more than enough. But what I'll probably do, honestly, I'll start on this way and I'll work. No, actually, I'll probably, yeah, I'll work this way and up and round and then connect it in there. That's probably the way forward, actually. I think it is. I think it is. Or is it? Probably is the answer. Probably. This is a much bigger line than I than I originally envisaged, quite honestly. Didn't think it was going to be as big as this one. But, I think, so far it's okay. Bullet topped. 9mm bullets. Standard output. Yeah, that's fine. So all of that should work. I'm just having a quick look at the power. It's going to be a lot of power. <laughs> Hell of a lot of power. I mean, it's probably going to be 800 just to turn this entire thing on. Maybe more. No, maybe that's a bit... No, maybe that's too much. Maybe five to 600. Hmm. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Anyway, I think we'll leave it there. Um, I know it's a little bit shorter than normal, but uh, needs must. So... Next episode, we'll go ahead and finish this line off, and then we will hopefully be outputting a decent amount, but we'll have to check the input-output load and do some load balancing and things. So we might make a... Might, might have some gaps on purpose. I think once we've got that up and running, eventually we're just going to buy this entire section out and then expand up here so we do have more gap because at the moment as you see it's all over the place well it's, it's really cramped in so we can't service it we can't change anything it's just going to be a bit of a nightmare but we'll see how that one goes as always hope you have enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching take care and generic partings